All right, so rumor has it Beto O'Rourke says that he wants to run for governor. So let's see if he should do a thing. How well would that go? As of right now, they said it's just a rumor, but I think that that's a huge possibility. But let's see. Cards are sticking together here. Let's see. Let's see. Page of Swords, Three of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Out of Brain, King of Pentacles, The Emperor, Four of Wands, Six of Wands. There is a high chance, now he still has very um, well-connected people when it comes to deep pockets, so he doesn't really have a finance issue. But we start with the Page of Swords and the Three of Cups. There's a lot of inside government people um, that are in his community that um, are bringing, bringing him back really good numbers or really good possibilities, things of that nature. Things look good on the surface. Um, you do need more than the surface to actually claim the crown, but if, if it was kind of like Canada where you can call an election right now, then I think he's pretty much a shoe-in because Abbott is very unpopular and Texas is getting a lot of black publicity, so forth and so forth. But um, the problem is for Abbott is the votes that are supposed to be guaranteed to go towards the Republicans are not necessarily there. Now, it doesn't mean they go for Beto. It just means that they don't go for Abbott. So you may get a third party or a write-in type of situation. So he is he is um, he is cashing in on some benevolence when it comes to that. He is also cashing in on some actual money, some deep pocket to support him. So he still has a lot of industry around him. So he still has a lot of industry in his pocket. So six of wands indicates victory, elevation, promotion. So. If he were to run, and then there's the governor's mansion, as of right now, I think he would win.